What's going on gamers? Today, we're gonna go over how to add workshop maps to your Apex Terraria server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload, just like this one. All right guys, let's admit it. Everything is better when it's free. Games, servers, Amazon gift cards if you hop on the Apex server events, but especially maps that you and your friends can play on. Luckily, Terraria is compatible with the Steam Workshop, allowing you to download and play maps directly made from other players. Whether it's a cheat world where the, you can mess with every item in the game, or just one that you think is really cool. If you've never done it before, it could be a bit confusing, but we're going to show you how easy it can be. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get our world ready from the workshop. Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is hop into Steam and click on your Steam library. Then click on Terraria. Now click on workshop, and this is gonna be the place where you can browse or find a desired map. Once you do find one that you like, go ahead and click on the subscribe button on its page to begin downloading it and installing it automatically to your Terraria. Now, launch up Terraria and select Workshop from the main menu. Now, click on Import Worlds and find your world. Then, click on the Import button and just choose a world and you can begin this process. It's important to remember the name for later. From your computer to upload the world to your server, you're going to have to jump to the following location. On Windows, it's going to be in your Documents, My Games, Terraria, and then your Worlds folder. And on Mac, it's going to be Library, Application Support, Terraria, and then your Worlds folder. Regardless, once you are at the correct folder, go ahead and find your workshop files. They may not have a proper name, so just confirm using the date modified section. We heavily recommend renaming the .wld file so that it's something easier to remember. You can right click it and just name it something simple and copy it so that you can save the name of the world for later. Once you've got that world saved to a folder you can easily locate later on, go ahead and jump into your Apex server panel and stop your server. Once your server comes to a full stop, click on FTP file access on the left hand side of the page. Once your server is offline, of course, and then log in with your information and navigate to the saves folder. Once you find the saves folder and click into it, click into the world folder. Now just click on upload at the top left of the page and open up that folder where you have the world file. Now just click and drag it to the right hand side of the panel page. Now let it fully upload and get ready for the next step. Now we're gonna go ahead and load the world onto your server. Just jump onto your main server panel and jump down to the world section and then click on the change world button. When you're prompted, enter the name of the file you uploaded, not including the .wld ending. Just copy the whole name and you leave the .wld out. Now, when you click on change world and it asks you to restart your server, once you do that and your server fully starts up, you should load in with the correct world. Whether you're in it for the culture, for the community, or the challenge, the Terraria Workshop is a great place to find new maps. There's a ton of other cool stuff to check out there as well. And if you don't know how to install those, well, if we haven't already, stay tuned and subscribe so we can show you how to do a 270 over the hip in Terraria. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.